Okay, well, today was the day that I finally got the uh, package that was containing the plants. It was a bit of a story, actually. It was supposed to arrive, um, ten, sorry, seven days ago. So, it had been shipped, it was shipped for two-day shipping, and was supposed to arrive on, uh, Thursday. But, instead, Canada Post decided to take their sweet old time getting it here, and then the day it was supposed to go out for delivery, all postal services cancelled for Halifax because of uh, the hurricane. So that added to it. And then they decided, you know what, we're not going to deliver it. We're just going to leave a notice without knocking. So they did that, and I was able to pick it up today. The plants are in remarkably good shape, considering that they were without any form of light for around 10 days at this point. To be honest, I'm shocked at how well they've done. Um, I was really hoping that some of the plants would be taller to help make a three-dimensional space. But it seems like I'm going to have to purchase some hardscaping supplies and uh, get that done before, the, before uh, my Crested Gecko arrives. But other than that, I'm fairly happy with it. Um, it doesn't look like a whole lot right now, but once it grows in, there should be quite a lot of uh, leaf cover on the left side, and I'm hoping that the uh, cycad, um, I'm hoping that my Crested Gecko will really like the cycad, and it has a rather rough base, so I'm hoping that that can help him shed, like uh, help rub against and shed, but I think he's going to quite enjoy lying um, on the leaves in cycad, he seems to really like Back in Ontario, he seemed to really like to hang out on top of the leaves of a pitcher plant, of a large pitcher plant. Kind of grew too large for his terrarium back home, and I uh, wasn't able to get one shipped to Halifax, so that's why I don't have one in here. But I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. It's not great, but I'm really hoping that um, with some time, it will really improve and really grow out. I'm planning on getting a couple more things, and I'm quite happy with how it is set up on this half. But the half where the cycad is, I mean, cycad's going to be a main feature of the terrarium. But everything in, like, this quarter here of the terrarium, I'll show uh, a better view of it later, I'm really not happy with. It just looks empty and kind of barren, which really isn't what I'm going for. But, uh... We'll see what I can do with that, getting some more plants shipped in, perhaps. But yeah. This is probably a better view um, to show just how empty this area looks right now. Um, there was some... Fair, this was a lot larger when I had purchased it back in Ontario, but it seems that most of it got damaged and broken off um, in transit. So I'm hoping it can recover and kind of regrow, which will kind of really help fill out the foreground. But I guess only time will tell. Um, this also was a lot taller, but has gotten kind of squished and really assaulted by Canada Post, it would seem. So we're going to see how that goes. Uh, if it doesn't seem to be doing well, I'll rip it out, put something else in there. Make some more cover for the uh, for my Crested Gecko. Might get a fern. Might put a fern there. That could be good. Some cover fern, make him feel secure. And yeah. Still no sign of any lemons germinating. So I'm kind of disappointed by that. Although, I guess it has only been, I don't know, 10-ish days since I did that. And I think this is about how long it would take to germinate anyway. Uh, I hope... I haven't disturbed the soil too much and buried any of them too deep, but again, I planted a bunch of them. So, even if one or two pop up, awesome, cool. If not, now let's try again. Lots of foreground to play around with. 
And yeah, and seeing as citrus don't particularly grow quickly, probably don't be a problem there. But yeah. Now to talk briefly about the lighting setup that I'm going to have for this tank. Um, so if you see the cool white uh, LED, I guess, fixture with the three blue uh, LEDs as well, that is a seven or, or nine, it might be nine, watt LED, uh, I guess fixture, I don't know how, what else to call it, um, array, I don't know. Um, that will be providing some more cool light throughout the entire day. And then you see the really red, and uh, it just looks red in this shot here, um, light. That actually changes uh, its spectrum throughout the day. So it has a full set of RGB lights, as well as 7,000K white LED lights. Or, yeah, I guess lights. Um, and its brightness r really uh, changes throughout the day. So right now, I just got the plants planted, and this light fixture was also in the package. Um, so right now, it's doing, it's like, I don't know, like, quote-unquote, 6 a.m. setting. But throughout the day, it gets much brighter and much whiter, and then gets more blue towards the night as well. And it's a 25-watt fixture. Uh, fixture. So I've got a total of either 32 or 34 watts of LEDs at peak, but throughout the day that'll really vary um, because the one is programmable and uh, changes intensity and color spectrum throughout the day. I'm hoping it's enough to get these plants to really take off. I really want that cycad to do well. I know they're super hardy, but I have always loved cycads. They're one of my favorite types of plants. And uh, I guess we'll see how it goes, but yeah. So here is a bit of a better view of that left side wall because you can't fully see all of it because of the planting. Let's just try and keep it. I'm, this is the side that I'm most happy with, whereas you can see that over here, it's just downright boring. But yeah, hope to uh, bring you guys another update in probably a week or two, see how it's grown in, and hopefully by then I'll have my gecko back and we'll get to see something actually interesting where there's an animal involved. Alright, that's everything for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time.